Now, according to the U.S. Commerce Department, core capital goods orders, which is a key me measure of business investments, fell by 0.6 percent, marking the lead largest drop in orders this year. This highlights that despite ongoing commitments, the long-term investments foreign companies are scaling back in the middle of higher borrowing costs and soft demands. Now, meanwhile, durable goods orders edged up by 0.1 percent. However, if volatile transportation equipments are excluded, the durable goods orders have decreased by 0.1 percent. The data reflects a cautious approach by businesses and economic uncertainties. Now, if we shift to the housing part in the United States, the National Association of Realtors reports that the pending home sales in the U.S. had a record hit in the month of May, dropping by 2.1 percent to a reading of 70.8. The dis this decline is attributed to persistently high mortgage rates and soaring home prices, which have discouraged potential buyers. Looking forward, these indicators suggest that challenges are looming around for both manufacturing and housing sectors for the U.S. in the coming months. The Federal Reserve's cautious stance on cutting interest rates amid persistent inflation adds further complexity to the country's economic projections.